I am Neha Vashisht Mahajan and today I have Mr. Anindya Banerjee with me. He is the Senior VP, Head of Research, Currency, Commodity and Interest Rates at Cortex Securities. Thank you so much Anindya for taking out time and joining us today on ET Market. Thank you for having me. Why are gold prices going down so much? Uh, now, I'm not talking on a weekly basis, but if we compare it to all-time highs uh, that were touched this year, the difference is quite huge, going from 74K to what it is right now. What are the reasons behind it? So if you see the cut from 74 or 74, 500 to currently around uh, 69 something, or let's take the lows around 67 or so large part of that fall was due to the uh, imp uh, the import duty cut by the government of India in the budget because it was a 9% slash. And so you can see that uh, the 10 to 12 percent fall, the large part of that was because of that. Apart from that, uh, the liquidation uh, due to yen carry trade, which hit the international uh, gold and silver prices. Uh, so that contributed to, I would say, like 10, 20 percent of the fall. So overall, it was the uh, duty cut and this that led to this fall. Just a follow up question. Uh, uh, we are approaching the wedding season also. So what is your yeah. advice to investors who are looking to uh, buy jewelry? What will be the uh, forecast for that? See, in fact, this whole slash in the import duty has made the, the gold very attractive for the domestic investors. And we are hearing about the demand coming back in. And with the festival season now, uh, which is going to gradually pick up, we will see the, the physical demand for gold as well as silver improve. Uh, and uh, along with that, uh, international factors are very positive because the biggest factor is U.S. interest rate cycle. And that uh, currently the market is uh, penciling in anywhere between three to four interest rate cuts before end of December. So if you look at all these uh, two factors, the trajectory for gold silver is upward. So investors should use this uh, dip in the prices to accumulate. All right. Let's also talk a little bit about geopolitical tensions that are going around uh, the world. So uh, wh what do you think what is happening if we compare uh, the prices of equity? And so whenever uh, equity goes up, gold goes down. It's inversely right. uh, proportional. So uh, some but sometimes it does not fall into that category because of a lot of factors that are here right now. So what do you think about the geopolitical uh, tensions? How is it affecting gold? See, gold has a very deep uh, macro inverse relation with dollar index. The reason being very simple that gold is considered as a money, as a global money which uh, which is not owned by any central bank but which every central bank holds and the opposite uh, side the fiat currency is the dollar so when dollar is appreciating in uh, in value uh, because of the interest rate cuts sorry the in, uh, interest rate hikes by the fed mm -hmm. then what we see is that gold the demand starts to fall especially the the speculative demand and when the interest rates are cut and the dollar is under uh, under pressure gold tends to uh, do well like it is now so that is the uh, major macro inverse relation which gold has with any other market. Now with equity, it is not a direct relation. It depends if there is a geopolitical turmoil like uh, what happened in 2022 when the, the Ukraine and the Russia war uh, broke out. Then we saw equity uh, prices come under pressure, but gold did quite well. But if you see such episodes don't have a lasting impact on the gold prices. So it is basically the currency which has a, a deeper impact than the geopolitical events, which tend to have a very tra uh, transitory impact. Thank you so much, Anandya, for joining us. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.